this idea floating around in my head about how technology affects people. Now, I know someone has heard the parent technology talk about how long you've been on your, you're on your phone or how you never do anything else. And you know, sometimes they are right. I have noticed that when I spend too long on my phone, I tend to lose touch with the world around me. Hours go by. For example, in virtual school, when my class is going on, I would be on my phone and not paying attention. At some point, my grades started to show that I wasn't focused on school like I should have been. The dreaded midterm grades were coming out soon. I held out hope that I could catch up on all my missed assignments. It was crunch time. I negotiated with myself. I'll play a game or read my favorite book for 10 minutes and do my missed assignments for 60 minutes. The 10 minutes came too fast. I added a little more time for fun stuff on my phone. And before you knew it, the end of the day was here and I was still not turning in assignments because I was still playing around on my phone. Then the grades were posted and the truth was out. It didn't take long for my parents to find out that I was lost in a sea of videos and books. Two of my favorite things to do on my device. There were days of long discussions with my parents, trying to figure out why my grades were so low. Then my mom asked for my phone. It was just a matter of time. The results were in. Can you guess how long I had been on my device? 18 hours. One day showed I was on my phone for 18 hours. I was only in school for eight, which means I was on my phone for 10 hours after school. Not only that, but there's only six hours left in the day, and I guess in that time I slept. This is apparently a very serious situation. Now, my question for you is, when was the last time you stopped and focused on something other than your device? Now, I don't mean work or paying your bills or being with your kids if you have them or for the kids out there, your homework. When was the last time you stopped and put down your device? Well, I was forced into taking time off my device. My mom installed an app to monitor time on my phone and the tablet. Every day, she made it her business to check in on my device time. The party was over. Besides poor grades, being on tech for too long has a negative impact on your social life as well. Being on your phone for excessive amounts of time takes away from spending quality time with the people that you care about. It has been a long-standing routine with my mom when she asks how school was, and usually I give no answer or very vague one-worded answers, mainly because I'm not paying attention because again, I'm on my phone. The other side of tech overload is using social media. We all know we went through quarantine and there was little to no leaving the house to go see friends. So we turned to the closest thing to face-to-face -face conversations, our phones. The dreaded rectangular device that sealed at least my fate for a good long time. So why did this little thing have such an impact on my life? Here's why. We were lonely and we had no one. I feel like that mindset traveled into the after COVID phase where all we did was sit around on our phones and that really impacted some of our relationships. For me, as I said, it was my grades. Let me tell you that spending all day on your phone is not a good if you're trying to pass your math class. I finally made it out of eighth grade and headed into the summer, but my parents had a surprise for me. Limited device time. After many lectures, my phone was taken away. I moped around the house for days, and then I got really bored. That is when I started painting. I have an entire room in the house devoted to my arts and crafts, but I hadn't been in there for a long time. Now, I spend time with art. 
I paint every couple of days so that I can take a break from my phone. I also started engaging in more conversations and actually having fun spending time with my parents. So the whole point, the idea we're sharing, is to talk about the importance of taking a break from technology every once in a while. And with all of these examples of what happens when you don't, I hope that it is seen that enjoying other activities that are not technology can really help with improving aspects of your life.